know, when KK Mobile Tire Service, I started the company 10 years ago. And this morning I'm going to speak to you about tire safety. We are fully trained in what we do. Everything on the vans are what it needs to be in the vans and do the job. You need to know what you're doing when you're out on the road. Okay, there's none of this whole like, well, we'll, just, we'll just do that, we'll get by. At the end of the day, you need to know what you're doing and obviously it's safety first, paramount. End of story. You need to make sure you are safe and we need to make sure you are safe. Why you should check your tyres? There was a survey recently done uh, with 50,000 vehicles checked across Europe. Now, 18 10 of the vehicles checked had under, under inflated tyres, which will severely affect the handling of the vehicle i.e. steering, fuel consumption will increase and the car just won't handle right, it will sort of be all over the place. So that's, that's the why you should always check your tyre pressures. Out of that survey, there was one in six that had a uh, worn tyre or below the minimum, on, sorry, the minimum tread depth needed for the road. Now the minimum legal requirement is 1.6 millimetres. <coughs> Okay, now from that 1.6 millimetres, obviously, if you've got 8 millimetres of tread, which is what a new tyre comes with, you will get the maximum performance out of that tyre. As the tyre gets worn and goes down to 1.6 millimetres, your driving style will, act, will have to adapt because of the decrease in the tread, because you're not getting as much grip. Obviously, if you haven't got as much grip, you're going to aquaplane more in the wet. Uh, icy conditions, you won't be getting the same grip. So that's why it's always important to check your tyres, okay? And there was one in, one in 11 out of the 50,000 checked had below inflation and was worn to the point where it needed changing. So that's the sort of things that people are driving around on, which is what scares us nine, nine times out of 10. You know, at the end of the day, there's four strips of rubber holding you and your family on the road in the car. Why not treat them with the respect they deserve and give them a new set of boots? or at least look after them. Okay. Um, on that subject, it's sort of, it's sort of it, we're all a bit guilty as we want these new Carlos Van Dango phones and we've got to have the latest telly and we've got to go on the internet and do this and do that. You know, you see people down in shops and they'll sit there and they'll spend £600 on a mobile phone or they'll sign up for a contract for £50 a month, whatever it may be, you know. But yet when it comes to tyres, you go, don't worry about that. I get in the car, I turn the key, she drives off. Everyone's got a busy lifestyle, but you need your car to get to A to B, so why not look after it? Because when there's a problem, all of a sudden it's, I need to get to work, I need to be at a funeral, I need to be at a wedding, wherever it might be, but a constant, a daily check, just a weekly check on your tyres. Just cast your eye over them, give them a check. It could prove to be very important, and more, more importantly, is a worn tyre, if you do get caught by the police, runs up to a maximum of two and a half thousand pound fine per tire and three points so effectively if you've got four ball tires in your car you could use, lose your license that's 12 points if they if they really go full ball on you so that's why that's another important thing why you should check your tires the screen's not working today for some other reason it's not working but what i will say to you is um i've got some several different bits of tires here now as a, obviously going on from what we were just speaking about about worn tires and stuff this was one that we took off the other week. I've just bought it as an example. The MOT states it needs to be 1.6 millimetres to pass the MOT law across the central three quarters of the tread. Okay? So by rights, that tyre is legal. There's, they can't fail the MOT. It says in the MOT book, i.e. both edges can be bought. Okay? Now, if the police pull you over, obviously they're going to say differently, which is where it sort of contradicts each other. But at the same time, would you really want to be running on that tyre in icy or wet conditions with no tread at all? On the, this was actually on the inside, so it was on the front wheel drive vehicle. That was on the inside of the tyre. So was that's it the way. No, no, no. It was a Volkswagen. Okay. But at the same time, that could show signs up of alignment wear, i.e., it's out of alignment. We do the, we, we do the laser tracking gauges as well. We've, we've got the gauges in the van, so we can do the alignment as well for you on site. Okay, because that will prolong the life of your tyres as well. Obviously, if it's not running true, the tyre wants to go that way, the car wants to go that way, hence it wears on the edges more. Okay, it's the simplest way I can describe it to you. Um, there's another one. Worn excessively on the edges, both sides. That was underinflated. 
Obviously, with underinflated tyres, creates extra stress on the sidewalls, okay, because the tyre will flex it more. So it won't be handling as right, and the steering will feel a bit funny. So, and it's, the, 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 this customer, in actual fact, was running on the 1.6. He'd actually gone, the, these wear indicator bars, these trigger indicators, are all around the tyre, okay? But they start at two millimetres. That's the easiest way for you to check your tyres. So once you see yourself start getting, just touching them, you know you need to give us a call, and we'll come and, you know, or we'll give you a quote, come and supply some new ones. This customer had gone beyond that, down to the 1.6 mark, and gone beyond, he's actually going into the second layer of rubber there, into the tyre. So that one there, although it was just legal, it wouldn't have been very nice to drive on. So that's that one. Um, the construction of tyres, I mean, obviously, every tyre, I'll say construction of tyres, you've got your normal tyres, which, you know, you, you, get your normal, you get your normal low tyres, you get your extra low tyres, you get your eight-ply tyres, like a, on your vans and your six-ply tyres, and you get your run flats. Now, with a run flat, everyone says to me, why are run flats so expensive? And why do I need them? Well, if the car comes with them, why not put them on? If you don't have AA cover, Sometimes the diff you know it might be sort of forty pound difference in the price, say for example, okay. But when you're out on the road at two o'clock in the morning and you're on a normal tyre and you haven't got a spare, that tyre will probably get you to about a mile, mile and a half, roughly, before that's going to be absolutely no good, okay. And then you're stuck and you need to call someone like me because we offer a twenty-four hour service, but you will pay for the out-of-hours service because obviously it's out of hours. So that extra money that you pay for the run flat tyre, the run flat tyres have got a double thickness sidewall. So they're designed to give you up to a maximum of 50 miles to get to a place of safety. That's why they're more expensive. There's, there's a dif different structure completely on the sidewalls and bits of places. The rubber is much, much stronger on the sidewalls to, to make you be able to drive safely to where you need to be. Um, sidewall repairs. No sidewalk repairs need to be done. They shouldn't be done. We've been out to several people where they've gone, oh, I've been down there, yeah, the bloke cost, charged me like 20 quid to put this on, it's been lovely. You get there and you go, well, why is there a, you know, it's a repair. You know, they've got a puncture, they're stuck. We go out to it and say, well, why do you have a sidewalk repair? And they go, oh, the bloke's got the itching certificates. Well, if the bloke has certificates, don't you think everybody in the tire trade would be repairing sidewalks? It is a no-go area, okay? Uh, you know, pop branding, we're not allowed to do. Um, and some of them you see, I, I did have pictures on the slideshow, but some of them you see, they've had rubber melted into the sidewalls. And then when you take the tyres off, on the inside of the tyre, they've been buffed, and a piece of inner tube's been glued to the inside and coming right up the sidewall to the bead. That's a no-go, full stop. Needs a knife put through it, put in a pile. Why spend 30 pounds on a tyre Put your life in danger, not just your life, because if something goes wrong, you could ruin someone else's. Why not spend the extra money and just buy a decent <coughs> tyre, proper tyre? If you buy new, you're going to get more miles. If you buy part one, I'm not saying part ones are bad, because obviously some people can't stress to a new tyre. But there's certain part ones that shouldn't be on the road, okay? Shouldn't be repaired, end of. You know, if you work it out, I was talking to a car, I was talking to a courier a little while back. I'm not paying out £120 for a new tyre. I can go down the road and get the part one for 30 quid. That's fine. How many part ones do you go through in a year? Oh, I must have to stop about four or five times. Well, four or five times for 30, 35 quid a tyre, that equates to one tyre, one new tyre, and he hasn't got to stop three or four, like four or five times and go and get his tyre done. He can be on the road earning his money. And that's where we come in, because obviously, around the table, business owners, anyone out on the road, you know, we've all got busy lives. You can be at your work earning your money. We will come around, do the job on site for you while you're at home with the family, while you're at work earning your money or running your business. We come to you and do everything. We do the valves, we re replace the valves, we replace, the, we redo the balancing, everything job done, all the walnuts talked up, satisfactory job. That's me, that's Kevin Unwin from KK Mobile Tire Service, and that's my tip on tire safety. Thank you very much. <laughs> When you, if, you to, if you're braking at 70 mile an hour, how much difference does that make? How much more? It could add <coughs> up to 16 metres on the braking, from 8 millimetres to 1.6 millimetres. Okay. Oh, 50, 60 foot. So yeah, with with I mean, with thinking with thinking like reaction yeah. time and braking distance, you're talking 
I say it was it, it had six roughly about sixteen meters on the braking from eight mil to one point six. But with your with your with your thinking time, I think it works out something around about ninety meters. Don't hold me to that, but I, I think that's what it was. Patrick, thank you. <coughs> that one because I know the answer is the second one. But I mean, first one. Uh, how often should you really check your tyres? Check tyres once a week, once a month. Okay. Just keep your eye on them, you know what I mean? Even just checking your pressures once a month mm -hmm. is going to prolong the life of your tyres. <coughs> I mean, for example, if you, if you have the correct pressure in your tyres over the course of, uh, was it, was it 45,000 kilometres Michelin say, so that they work, what's that's going to work out roughly about 20, about 25, 30,000 miles, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, they reckon if you keep your tyres pressured to the right pressure and using their Michelin Green en to, uh, the Michelin Energy tyres, for example, mm -hmm. the amount of fuel you will save will pay for two tyres. Mm. And the second bit to that was, and I know that because somebody asked you in the office uh, yesterday, is like roughly how long does a, does a tyre last? And I think you gave it depending on... An, an average life expectancy, OK, look, OK. It depends on the driving style of the driver, yeah. for example. If you're doing a lot of long journeys on the motorway, you'll get more miles out of a tyre because it's constantly rub up, like constantly rolling. Mm -hmm. It's not doing any heavy braking constantly and steering constantly. So that will last longer. Cars around town, like cab drivers and stuff like that, they will always wear the tyres out quicker because of what they're doing. But an average, across the board, an average lifespan of a tyre is roughly around about 15,000 to 25,000 miles. Does it also depend what way you wear your baseball cap? Oh. Again, like I said, it depends, <laughs> on, the, it depends on the driving style of the driver, doesn't it? Cap. You know, if, the if, front, if, yeah. if, if they want to drive like Ayrton Senna, for example. I've always noticed that when Kevin Parker gets in my car. As opposed to, you know, driving Miss Daisy, then you're not going to get the life out of them, are you? Right. So, uh, I always noticed when Kevin Parker gets in my car, I have a nail in my tyre. <laughs> <laughs> One more, maybe. Just obviously, there's been a lot of reference to checking pressure. Yeah. And obviously, there are lots of different types of tyres, different types of cars. Where is the best place? Very to good point. Down right. Okay. What pressure? Because all cars to will have a tyre safety, a tyre pressure chart in them. Okay. Nine times out of ten, if you open one of the front doors, normally the driver's door, right. there'll be a chart in there telling you tyre sizes because obviously different specs have different size tyres. Yeah. Okay, and there'll be, on what they're doing now on some of them, they're actually doing a normal load, a comfort zone and a maximum load. So you get two or three different settings normally, okay, and it will give you what, what tyre pressure should be in the front, what tyre pressure should be in the back for them for the for, you know whether it be normal load or, or, or fully loaded and some of them I say now even come with a comfort load like you know if you're doing between an X amount of miles an hour this is a comfort setting for this car mm -hmm. so nine times out of ten they're in the door shuts on the on the, if they're not in the door shuts if you open a petrol cap up they'll be in a petrol cap or some of them now have them in a the glove box okay. so that's that Okay. So if, if, if you're not too sure <laughs> then, then then check <laughs> or, or look yeah, in your yeah, manual it yeah, should yeah, be yeah, in the manual yeah. Yeah. Or pick on seven after the meeting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm okay. Replace my tyres, so definitely. And rectified the the balance from somebody else who's done my tyres previously. There you so. go. Exceeding excellence. And at the end of the day, <laughs> at, the end of, at the end of the day, what you've got to say to yourself is, what's stopping you? Mm. Mm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.